Hello everyone, welcome back to another imperfect chess video. My name is Sean. Today we're going to work on having an engine spar with you using the opening repertoire that you've built. Now, I need to warn anybody, just in case you might be new to chess, this isn't the best way to become better at chess. Any good chess player or a chess book will let you know, especially if you're a low-level player, you should be working on your tactics and your thought process in, in the game as a whole and not memorizing opening lines. So, you know, I just, I had to get that off my chest to make sure I wasn't leading anybody astray. And you know what? If you're learning openings, it's really not supposed to be learning opening moves with like a series of trees. You're supposed to understand the opening and get the best out of it. But that's not what we're doing today. Today we're doing, this is like the junk food of chess study. It's learning opening lines and it's, I just, I like doing it. So I'm going to show you how I do it. It's not necessarily the best way. It is certainly not the best way to become a good chess player. But if this is the type of thing that you're interested in, I'm going to show you how I use these tools to have fun to prepare my openings and think about my openings. So I've got an opening database here. I've talked about it many times. You can see all these lines I've been working on. Let's take a look just for a moment. This is a um, an entry 16 is variation on the Evans gamut and I've included uh, one move for white in each case. You can see my, my blue move, which I've explained in other videos, is the defining move for this one um, you know, variation or this one line. Um, and down here we've got alternatives for, for black, BA5, we're here in the fifth move, BC5. Here in the sixth move, you know, there would be E7 and the sixth move variation. So I've got a number of variations. I've pulled out a number of games from either the online database or perhaps from the mega database. and. I want to practice this. This is sort of like right now my go-to uh, main line for the Evans Gambit at the moment, and I'd like I'd like to kind of practice this line. So what I want to do in this case, I've shown in the past how you can build training questions within that line within Chess Space 12 and quiz yourself, and there's that's that's awesome, and I, I use it sometimes. There's another thing you can do as well is you can build a little mini tree and give it to a chess engine and tell the engine, use this opening uh, against me, and I'm going to practice against you, the engine, and I'm going to try to remember all of my moves and see if I can do that. So, And then, of course, you can continue the game after the, the tree is finished, and then you can start practicing what it might be like in a regular game if somebody goes down your best line. So you can see already, uh, if you have some chess experience, what I mean by probably not the best use of your time if you have limited time in order to become... A better chess player but I just I just find it really fun I just it's what I like to do so let's this is how I do it and uh, let's right click here we're gonna build a new database the database is in fact going to be a an opening book or sometimes called an opening tree and sometimes called a CTG file so I come down here and we're gonna call this a CTG file and uh, you can see I've got some in there I've been playing with already and we'll just call this you know Evans accepted for now and there I have a Evans accepted, and it's a CTG file, so the little tree comes up. And all I want is this one game. Let's see if I can drag this one game over into it. And copy one game from my white playbook to the Evans. Yes. And it's going to bring it in. And there it is. And you won't see the database preview for it because it's a tree. So we've got that, and that's cool. Now, Chess Space doesn't let you use the engines to play the games. What you need to do is use another program. Chess Assistant actually would and Aquarium would, and I liked that. But for the chess space, you need another program. So I've got Houdini. This is the Houdini 3 GUI. You can stick any engine in the background. Um, it doesn't really matter what engine you use, but you need to give the engine this new opening book that you provided. So you can see I've got, let me start a new game here. And, um, uh, Flip the boards around. Let's go to the opening book, and you can see it's got some other opening book in there. And I want to um, right-click and close the book file. Let's load a static book, and in my books, I want. Hopefully, it's here. There it is. Evans accepted. So it's in. And now, what I should be able to do, if I let's say I want to, I don't know, uh, do some training. I want to do a handicap game. Let's play against a steamroller. These are all variations depending on your engine. I'm not going to worry too much explaining this because I'm using Houdini GUI. You can do this with any GUI or anything. The important thing is 
You need to give, and I don't want to play black, I don't want to play white. You need to give the engine the book to use. Okay, so we've got, um, we've got the opening book loaded. You can see um, that you can actually play with the tree a little bit. There are different things you can do. We're not going to touch that. All that's important is that we've given the engine, in this case, I think we're playing Houdini. Houdini we're playing Houdini. Down here, you can see Houdini. We're playing Houdini, and we've told Houdini to use my book. Evans accepted. So I go out D4, it comes back, and I can, what I can do here is I can either see what my, by clicking on, for, for this particular GUI, by clicking on the opening book, I can see what my next move is, or I can try to just sort of um, see if I can quiz myself and remind it, and the computer will follow along with the book I've given it. He's not throwing the Sicilian at me right now, or the Philidor, he's not coming out with the, um, you know, the Hungarian defense or anything. It should all work perfectly for what I wish to do. And there he goes, boom. So he's given me an opportunity to play the Evans Gambit Accepted. And that is exactly where I want to go with my thing. And I can see if I'm not sure what my next move should be, I can either look here for a hint to look at my next move and go to C3, and then he goes back to D4, or I can just on my own just, just try to test myself and memorize. The moment I go something something's off, what it's going to do is you can see the engine's going to kick in here. It's not using the um, the tree anymore and you can see that we're off so it doesn't like a, a pop-up doesn't come up to say wrong move the way training does the engine just goes and now you're playing a game and so it's an opportunity for you depending on how you want to use it to either see how far you get or to remind yourself what you're supposed to be doing so here you can see the engine kicked in at a um, with a with a value it doesn't do that with the moves while it's going through the tree so if I want to go back here, take a look at my eyes, oh, I'm supposed to play D4. Okay, so D4. And then let's make this the new main line. And then in theory, um, I should kick the engine off again and it'll continue down. Down, where we go. I think if I click move now, it might, it might move. There we go. And now we're playing the engine again. And that's, a, I think, a very easy, simple way to build an opening repertoire, take a look at the lines, and then try them out. Give them to an engine, play against the uh, the tree. Most most people I notice they they build opening trees, opening books. Um, it's almost as a way to build the best opening book as possible, and then have engines fight each other to see who can build the best opening book. We're kind of turning that on its head, and we're building weak, limited opening books because we want the engine. If, we, if I want to practice the Evans Gambit, well then don't throw a Sicilian at me play the freaking Evans Gambit so I can test myself out. So this is how I practice, it's one of the ways um, that I practice my openings once I've built an opening repertoire. I hope you find that helpful. Um, nice little video today, a short one today I think. And uh, please subscribe, click on the button, subscribe. And um, uh, well there's lots more coming I guess is what I'm gonna say. Thanks all, check out imperfectchess.com if you have a moment. Have a, have a great day, great evening, great afternoon. Cheers.